Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it is time to make a SketchUp lesson. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So first, SketchUp Free is totally awesome. You will find a link in the description. You can click that, launch it, and then choose Sign In with Google. Once you're in, I say always hit these arrows so you can pick what we're going to play with. Today, we're going to use decimal millimeters. Click on that button, and it will launch the brand new app. You do have to wait a second. As soon as the dude shows up, click on this and hit the delete key. It's the one that actually says delete. A couple reminders. When you watch the video, I'm going to tell you after you watch a piece, click the tab, then do the piece. As I watch students in my class, a lot of times they would do a shortcut. That shortcut they typed would go to the browser window where they were watching the video instead of the program. So make sure in between each step you click it so you're actually talking to SketchUp. So we're going to hit save and today my friends we're going to click the word SketchUp and we're going to make a table. Just type T-A-B-L-E and hit save. SketchUp does save to the cloud but you do need to remember to hit that button so that you don't lose anything you might have adjusted. All right, friends, so here we go. I'm going to click the tab to make sure it knows I'm talking about it. We are going to hit R for rectangle. You can see it changed to a rectangle, and then I want you to type the numbers. Remember, we click and let go, and I want you to type 10, comma, 10, and press Enter. When you do that, it is super tiny, so we are going to use the awesome zoom to extents. So now we can see our cool little table leg. We are going to use P for push-pull. Notice you can click the tab to make sure you're on the right one. And then we're going to lift that up and notice it is adjustable. I clicked and let go and we're going to type 40 and press enter. That is our table leg. You can roll the wheel back. You can press the letter O. Remember if you're ever not getting your commands, we can click there so we can see it. That's what our table leg is going to look like. I want you to press the space bar, which gives us the selection tool. I want you to grab that entire leg. I want you to right click on it and I want you to make it a component. I want you to call it leg and I want you to just press center so it's done. That's all it takes. Now friends we're going to make the top of our table. Once again I'll click the tab to help you remember that. Let's do our R for rectangle. I'm going to go over here on the red line and I'm going to make any tabletop that I think will fit. You'll notice mine's 100 by 176. I'll let you adjust yours however you want. I'm going to click that so it stays. I'm going to do P for push pull. I'm going to choose how thick I want my table. I'm going to lift it up a little. When I'm happy, I'm going to click and set it down. Just like that. I'm going to press the space bar. I'm going to select my table. I'm dragging from the left to the right so I select it all. And then we're going to right click on that and we're going to make it a group. Now I'm going to tell you why we chose component in group in just a moment. Just hang with me. So now that we have this a group, I want this leg to be on a corner. So we're going to do M for move. Once again, I'll hit the tab just so you see that. There's my M. I'm going to grab this corner. And this is what's so cool about SketchUp. It lets us drag them to spots. So I'm dragging all over the world. But when I get close to that corner, boom, it tells me, hey, you made it. And you can set it down. I'm going to hit O for orbit. You can see how sweet that is. And now, friends, watch this. We're going to do M for move again. I'll hit the tab just so you remember to do that as well. We're going to click on this corner. Now, if you look at the bottom of the screen, it says you can tap control to be in copy mode. Friends, just like that, you're dragging your copy anywhere you want. Now, you can try and be perfect or just set it down. And then if you grab the correct corner, like this corner snaps to that edge, boom, instantly done. Once again, I'll hit the tab so you remember to do that. O for orbit, and I'm going to do space bar, and then I'm going to hit M for move. This time I'm going to be smart from the get-go. I want to take this corner of the leg, and I want to put it here. So I'm just going to click on the corner. Notice I forgot to hit control. I can do it after I start moving. And bam, you can drop it to that side. O for orbit, let's look at it from this side. Once again, M for move. I do want this shape and I want this corner. Notice this corner is going to go on this edge. And if you ever mess up, you can hit escape to cancel. That's on the top left of your keyboard. But just like that, we can drop it in place. Friends, we have just made a table. I'm going to hit save so we don't lose it. I'm going to paint my table right now. Remember, you've got all the amazing things you can pick. I'm going to choose to make a glass table. And I'm going to put this glass on top. So boom, I just painted that. Because it's a group, 
I can do spacebar and I can triple click one, two, three. Because it's a group friends, I can click on it and if I choose the color, it'll paint the entire thing all at once. So now it is see-through glass. Now friends, this is the amazing thing about those component legs. Let's go down and find some metal. When I hit spacebar and click this one leg, because it's a component, I can double click it and I can paint that leg. Let's say I put the bronze and I'm gonna paint all these legs at once by clicking three times, one, two, three, and it grabbed everything. And let's put the color everywhere all at once. When I hit spacebar and click outside, it cancels it and friends, you have just got a sweet table with legs painted all at once because they were a component. When you change one piece of a component, it changes all the pieces of a component. That's the difference between a group and a component and it's pretty epic. Friends, I'm gonna hit save one more time. Friends, there you have it, a simple, fun, fast table, and you know a little bit more about working between a video and SketchUp in separate windows. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching, have a great day.